Mr. Reed, Revelation 316. Revelation 316. Revelation 316 says, You look warm, hypocrites, make God sick. You look warm, hypocrites, make God sick. Oh, yeah, so you're violent. You're violent throwing things at me. You're no church. You're a church of the devil. You're a church of the devil. Your pastor is a devil. Your pastor is a lying devil. You're a lying devil as a pastor. Are you hypocrites? Are you hypocrites? Romans 1. Romans 1 says if you take pleasure in those that do them, then you are worthy of the same. You are worthy of death. You are worthy of death. If you take pleasure in them that do them, then you are guilty of the same. Oh, you hypocrites. You're not a church. You make Jesus sick. Jesus is on the right side knocking. Jesus is not in your church. He's on the outside knocking. Are you the pastor? Oh, yeah, the chief hypocrite right there. The big hypocrite right there. The chief hypocrite. Chief hypocrite. You're of the devil, sir. You are of the devil. And God, God has a special place for you, you false teacher. God has a special place for you in hell. God has a special place in hell for you. Oh, yes. You get the blue flame of hell. Yes, you get the blue flame of hell. You get the special treatment you get worse you have a higher accountability sir God is gonna make you pay you're racking up a bill and God is gonna make you pay you better repent you better turn from your lukewarm condition you need to turn from your dead church your dead church of the devil your dead Look on church, I got a verse for you, Pastor. Revelation 3.16. Revelation 3.16. You look one hypocrite. You look one hypocrite. Revelation 3.16. And if you read that, read the book of James. Read the book of James and find out that you have a worse punishment. You have a worse punishment because you are leading them to hell. You're leading them to hell. Oh, you have a worse punishment, sir. God is going to laugh at you in derision. God is going to put you in the lower parts of hell. Oh, yes. You're going to be where the devil and the false prophets are. All the false teachers go there. You're going to be a Tartarus, sir. You're here, Tartarus. Do you know your Greek? Do you know your Greek? Did you study Greek in school? Do you know what Tartarus means? That's where you're going. That's where you're going, sir. You're going to Tartarus. You're going to burn if you don't repent. Turn away from your hatred of God. Turn away from your sin against God. Jesus Christ, you need to stop your sinning. Stop your sinning against God. Stop sinning against God. Are you sinning? No, I'm not sinning. Okay, then what makes you think I'm talking to you then? Well, that's a sin. Pride is a sin. Pride is a sin. Your pride is going to take you to hell. 
Yep, ride will take you straight to hell. You look one Pharisee. You look one Pharisee. You're gonna go to hell. We sure are. We're gonna be sick of you. God sees you. God sees what you're doing. You look one Christians. You make Jesus sick to his stomach. You make Jesus want to puke. Jesus want to throw up his lunch. You need to repent. You need to repent. Turn away from your crimes. Turn away from your crimes. God sees you, sir. God sees your heart. God sees the way you're living your life. Oh, you hypocrite.
The Bible says every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. And you're going to give an account of your sin. Oh no, your middle finger really hurts me. It hurts my feelings. Your middle finger is really harming me. You won't get the middle finger to God, sinners. You're in great danger. I have a life. I have eternal life. You don't have eternal life. You have eternal death. You're in great danger. You keep missing. You have eternal death. You are going to take part in the second death. All sinners will take part in the... You're so violent, sinner. All sinners will take part in the second death. All sinners will take part in the second death. You won't be able to flip off God. You won't be able to blow kisses to God on Judgment Day. God will judge you in righteousness. We're here at a love to warn you. Get right with God while you still have time. You homosexuals will not be able to blow kisses to God on Judgment Day. God will reject them. God will cast you to the lake of fire if you, unless you repent. And no amount of booing is going to change the facts. No amount of booing is going to change the truth. You are in trouble with God. You need to forsake your abomination, forsake your vileness, forsake your abominable lifestyle, and get right with God. Oh, I'm here to talk to you right now. You may not like it, but it's the truth. I'm here to talk to you right now, lesbian. You need to repent. You need to forsake your sins. All you homosexual inside might need to repent. You want to turn the, the, uh, the finger back to somebody else, but you need to repent. You need to get out of God. Yes. I don't want your lollipops. God doesn't want your lollipops. Yes, you need to repent, homosexual. You need to repent, sodomite. This is litter is all it is. Just more for the city to clean up later on. You're not a manly man. You're a girly man. You're a sissy man. You're a sissy man. You're a girly man. You're not a manly man. Act like a man. You missed. You feel like a girl, too. Yes, you need to be a man if you're a man. Stop being a woman. Stop acting like a sissy, like a little girl. Act like a man. Oh, you don't know the Bible, sinner. Don't try to educate me in the Bible. You don't know the Bible. It doesn't matter. Being a preacher's son is not going to help you on Judgment Day. Being a preacher's son won't help you on Judgment Day. You can't piggyback into the kingdom of God. You need to forsake your sins yourself. And your dad being a pastor or a preacher, which I question, is not going to help you on Judgment Day. You can't chant your way out of hell, sinners. You can't chant your way to forgiveness of sins. You can't chant your way to eternal life. You need to forsake your sins. You need to repent of your sins. You need to get right with God while you still have time. Men need to act like men, women need to act like women. Even if you're not a homosexual and you're supporting this abomination, God is angry with you, the Bible says. God is angry with you. Romans chapter 1. Hey, sinners are so violent, always want to throw stuff at me. That's a violent group of sinners. Violent, violent, violent. No thanks. I'll pass. Always want to throw stuff at me, you violent sinners. Romans 1 says, uh, For this reason God gave them up to vile passions. For even their woman exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Lesbianism and homosexuality and sodomy is against nature. It's vile, the Bible says. God gives them up to uncleanness. And their vile passions. Likewise, also the man leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust for one another. Men with men committing what is shameful. Receiving in themselves the penalty of their error which was due. 
And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them up to a debased mind to do those things that are not fitting. Your homosexuality is debased, it's not fitting, it's shameful, it's vile, it's unclean, God gives you up to it, and you worship and serve the creature yourselves rather than the creator who is blessed forever, amen. You worship and serve the creature yourselves, your sexuality, rather than the creator who is blessed forever, amen. You're in trouble. You need to repent. Stop judging me, you hypocrite. What's that? What'd you say? You're not Jew? It's like I do with anything. Jesus died for all men and all women that you might be saved. Christ died for you that you might be saved. That's where you come in. Jesus said repent. Leading your children on godliness. What an abomination before God. What you don't realize is you have a large millstone around your neck and you're going to drown in a lake of fire someday if you don't repent. That's what Jesus said. He said you're better off having a large millstone around your neck and jumping into a deep sea rather than causing a little one to sin. You, your temporal sexual pleasure. You really think it's going to matter in eternity when you're burning in fire? You think you're going to remember your temporal sexual pleasure you get from your abominable lifestyle when you're burning in a lake of fire? You think you'll even think well about it even once? You won't think about your lesbianism and your sodomy when you're burning in a lake of fire? You'll be thinking about that. You'll be thinking about your girlfriend or your boyfriend when you're burning in a lake of fire. You'll take no comfort in that day when you say, oh, only God can judge me. You'll take no comfort in that on that day. No comfort, sinners, in being judged by God. Yeah, you can't deal with the truth. You can only try to drown it out. I understand. You can't deal with the truth. You can only try to drown it out. But on Judgment Day, you won't say, only God can judge me, thou shalt not judge. On Judgment Day, you won't say, only God can judge me, thou shalt not judge. You would have wished, on Judgment Day, you would have wished I would have judged you harsher. You would have wished I would have warned you harder. On Judgment Day, you would have wished, man, I wish that guy would have been harsher and harder this morning. Are you a male or a female? Are you a male or a female? Are you a male or a female? I can't even tell in this parade. I can't tell what is what. You just try to blur the lines. The lines that God set in gender. You try to blur them and destroy God's creation. You try to destroy God's creation. What's that? You're, you have condoms with your little girl? You're in big trouble, sinner. Big trouble. Passing out condoms. You really think condoms promote safe sex? Your sex condemns you to hell. Doesn't sound safe to me, sinners. Your sin, your sexual activity condemns you to hell. Doesn't sound like safe sex to me. Doesn't sound like safe sex to me. and crabs, but your, your condoms will never, never save from the wrath of God. Your condoms will never, ever save from the wrath of God. Your abominable sexual lifestyle condemns you to hell. And we want you to repent. Come to your senses. Overcome your debased mind. Allow the word of God to penetrate to your hearts. Allow the word of God to penetrate to your hearts and see that you're wicked in God's sight, that you're hell-deserving sinners, and that you need Jesus Christ who died for you on the cross. You need Jesus Christ who died for you on the cross. 
And right now, you don't have Jesus Christ. Right now, you don't have Jesus Christ. Right now, you have yourself and the devil. That's it. You don't have Jesus. Sinners have no fellowship with Jesus, and Jesus has no fellowship with sinners. You need to repent to have fellowship with Jesus. You need to stop your sin to be in a relationship with Jesus. You need to forsake your vile, shameful abomination before God. Get right with God while you still have time. God can strike you down tonight, and, and in the end, you'll end up in a lake of fire. God can strike you down tonight, you may not have tomorrow, and if you haven't forsaken your sins, you're not found in Christ, it's going to be a terrible day for you on Judgment Day. A terrible day. But we want you to repent. Repent of your shameful, your abominable, your unnatural, your wicked, your vile, your unclean, your unrighteous lifestyle. Turn to Jesus Christ. Obey Him, follow Him, serve Him. That's what the Bible commands you to do. You people need Jesus. You need Jesus Christ. You need to turn from your sin. Can you hear it? Okay, praise the Lord. That's wicked too. 
You know, they're using you to promote their alcohol and their liquor. They're using you for free advertisement. You probably paid money for that. So they're selling you something that gets you to advertise for them. It says you're backbiters, haters of God. You homosexuals are backbiters. You homosexuals are haters of God. You're haters of God. It says here that you're despiteful and proud. The Bible says you're proud. Oh yes, you're gay pride. You're gay pride. It's gonna know you're not a Christian. You're not a Christian. You're a freak. You're a freak. You're not a Christian. You're a freak on your way to hell. On your way to hell. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. You just stop wrapping your way to hell. Make it rainbow music. Jesus loves everyone. <laughs> Jesus loves everyone. Jesus loves everyone. Jesus loves everyone.
straighten you out, you homo. Someone ought to straighten you out, you homo. You need Jesus. You need to be straightened out. God can make you straight. God can make you straight and narrow. God can make you straight and narrow. You need to repent. You're headed for hell. You're headed for hell. The Bible says that you are filled with all unrighteousness. You are filled with all unrighteousness. Yes, you're going to burn. You deserve it. You're going to burn and you deserve it. The Bible says fornication. All you homos are fornicators. All you homos are fornicators. Having sex outside of godly marriage. None of you have any godly marriages. None of you homos have any godly marriages among you. You're all fornicators. Having unlawful sex. Unlawful sex. Your sex is against the law of God. Your sex is against the law. Against the law. You are against the law. You need to repent. You are against the law of God. You need to humble yourselves. Are oh, you proud boasters? You proud boasters. Oh yes. You proud. Oh you gay pride. That's that's a sin. Pride is a sin. And you get judgment. You get no mercy from God. You only get judgment. As long as you're proud, you only get judgment. As long as you're proud, you only get judgment. You deserve to burn. You deserve to burn. Why do you think they call them flaming hobos? Flaming hobos. All you flamers are going to burn if you don't repent. All you flamers are going to burn if you don't repent. You're going to burn in hell. That's why they call you flaming hobos. You flaming homo, you need to repent. God's going to set you in fire one day and cast you into the dark if you do not repent. The Bible says that Jesus will command his angels to bind you hand and foot and to cast you into outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yes, a place where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Oh, never be quenched. You'll be burning forever and ever and ever. You're going to burn and you're going to cry out for mercy, but you're going to get none. There is no mercy in hell. No mercy on Judgment Day. You have no mercy on Judgment Day. You proud sinners are going to burn. You proud sinners, you deserve to burn. You deserve to burn. Repent. Stop being a pervert. Stop being a pervert. Give up your hatred against God. Give up your hatred against Jesus. He's not going to accept you haters. You're a bunch of haters. Jesus is not going to accept you in the heaven. Oh no. Jesus will turn you away. Jesus will turn you away. He'll say, depart from me. I never knew you. And to some of you, he'll say, depart from me. I do not know you. Oh yes. Jesus will turn you filthy sinners away on that day. You'll be crying out, Lord, Lord! Oh, I went to church on Sunday for half an hour. Doesn't that earn me something? Half an hour in church on Sunday? I did it for you. He's going to say, Turn go away. I never knew you. I don't know you. You that work iniquity. You that work lawlessness. You that work sin, you members of sin, 